Okay, so this is a recycled notebook, and I think it's full of Italian notes, and there's the Pokemon theme song right now. I will not share with you the uh, parody version, <laughs> because it's really cheesy, and this is also really cheesy. Just, I wrote a love song about right now. <laughs> yes, see. <laughs> I draw a lot of female figures. You will notice if you haven't already. <laughs> um, Italy as a boot. Nord, centro, sud. I like foreign language a lot. Um, Tarzan, I guess, without hair. Um, little anime face, little crab. The bicycle thief and pictures. Um, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And I randomly wrote Tim Burton. Dragonfly. Um, Champagne. <laughs> I tried to draw that brand again. <laughs> That's great. Um, Belial, I kind of reimagined Belial from, uh, Angel Sanctuary into my own type of drawing, obviously, if you've ever read it. There's a bunch of Italian words, yay! <laughs> and there's a nice little pretty picture, and my characters, um, you do know I'm a writer, just not currently writing anything, but I, s I, I still want to when I get the time. These are all just notes. There's a, just a little happy girl. I just did it. Pixar, <laughs> and uh, the UPS car, and someone saying wahaha <laughs> while driving it. Oh, there is a Princess Jasmine attempt that I never completed, and here is a Victor Hugo fan page, because I love Victor Hugo, and look, I was drawing chakras even back in high school. <laughs> And I do love dinosaurs. Yuki's followers. Oh, Fruits Basket. I drew a bunch of mice. Or rats, since he's here of the rat. The spider and the fly is a famous, I think it's famous, um, section from The Hunchback of Notre Dame, where Frollo compares himself to the spider in trapping Esmeralda in his web. And then he compares himself to the fly being caught in Esmeralda's web of seduction, even though she's a 16-year-old girl who's very innocent, and it's, of course, all in his head, but it's a beautiful story. Um, we're dancing evil mushrooms with hearts. <laughs> and a fish. That's a pretty good fish. I do draw squids a lot. I don't know if I said that. Squids and mermaids. There is Victor Hugo in a seance. <laughs> so, there's that. <laughs> Everyone likes pie. <laughs> and there's a king. One ring to rule them all. Huh? See? Yeah. And in the darkness, find them. <laughs> Bringing down the house. Photo. Cat. Um, that looks kind of like Mirage from, um, um, from something. From Aladdin. You can't create new knowledge. <laughs> Let's see. Snakes. I like snakes a lot. I don't think... I think I 
saw it on YouTube. Oh, I drew Tomo from, well, my attempt at Tomo anyway, from Samurai X, hence the Kenshin scar. And just some more doodles. More Dancing Evil Mushrooms. Um, holding in emotions is unhealthy, remember. <laughs> A light bulb. Let's see. Money is like blood. Oh, I know what I'm referencing. Um, money is like blood. If you hold on too tightly, you'll get a blood clot. But if you let it flow, it'll always come back. It'll recycle. That is what I'm referencing. Also, yes, I love Zelda. And roller skating. And love. <laughs> and I drew a volleyball. <laughs> and weasel stomping day. Weird Al again. Um, just a face. Just an ordinary face. <laughs> I don't think that works. That is a man, merman. Merman with fancy hair. Crab cycle. Yeah. Um. Kyom, Kyom Tiri. I think it's actually Lom Kiri. Um, I think I wrote the title wrong. Dizzy, one-sided, smile, Frollo, okay, Elf on the Shelf, which I don't know, oh, I drew the thief, these flies are driving me crazy, you know, the thief and the cobbler, if you haven't seen it, I'd watch it, either version is good in my opinion, Hexus. Um, Bob the Bobblehead, <laughs> and a st stretching cat. And the belly dancer, and just walking into Mordor. <laughs> just because. Um, just random stuff. Oven mitts. <laughs> Another cat, and a fish, and a very thin person and a face. Um, I used to color cleanse. I haven't done it in a few years because I work and have a uniform. And a little elephant. And Boris is not a skull. That's a long story too. It's, um, I do love Jafar. That's actually a pretty good drawing of him. Time is a gift given to you, given to give you the time you need, the time you need to have the time of your life. That is from The Phantom Tollbooth. Talk sings that in the movie version. The book version is even better. I love the book. Eurostar, London to Paris. Why? <laughs> or woo. Sorry. Hard <laughs> Happy birthday, Joel. Oh, he was my friend in Idaho. Back to Idaho. That's really weird. Um, because this is like eight years later. Um, it is nothing to die, but it is fearful not to live. And there is the key of the Port Rouge, Frollo, with his burning face. And I love Frollo. Bruce Cobble. Ooh, he's amazing. Um, Frollo, Esmeralda, Notre Dame du Paris, I still love Morpheus, where is Morpheus, row, 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 <laughs> and fairy dust, oh, that must be after I read Valiant, which was, yeah, the crappiest book ever, I really hate that book, I had to write a book review on the book we did our book report on, and I just wrote that I hated it. And I wrote Y, and I got an A, because it was a terrible book. <laughs> and I don't care that I'm saying that. Type was pretty good. Type was pretty good. Valiant was just a terrible, terrible book. Raptor Yoshi, Baby Mario. Uh, Yoshi's Island is one of my favorite. I don't know why I drew. Oh, I guess because I'm talking about disease and cancer. And tobacco. <laughs> um, cleanse me. That's something else entirely. Sun and the moon. Um, I don't know 
what was that supposed to be? I guess maybe like Ryoga or something from Ranma. It's the only person it looks like. Dancing Evil Mushroom. That is a pretty good dinosaur. I might have traced it, I'm not gonna lie. Or I might have looked at it. Because I have a dinosaur coloring book and I used to bring it to class with me and I'd color while I listened because I am a doodler. Love. Air hug. Aw, Pwn and Z. I tried to recreate that. Jasmine, over 40. Oh, no, that's not Jasmine. Those are just eyes. And let's see. Lots of love. Oh. I had to make a list for in bulk. Actually, this is the thing. Never mind. I did a spell in bulk and I just wrote the things I wanted. And I made a little, um, I braided some yarn together. And I made a, an anklet that I wore until I felt that I had gotten the things. Dear, oh, that's a letter to my aunt. And a little drawing. Let's see. And that's it for this. This is another poetry book. This one was, um, through high school. And I really liked it still like it. It's got more art, so we're going to actually flip through in search of art. And, okay, so there's um, some of my pictures are really dramatic. There's an eagle with the Mercury sign on it. Um, more art. <laughs> I really love snakes. Let's see. Oh. There is Eternity. I don't, I guess I have, yeah, I have the feminine and the masculine accurate. Belial is the character from, um, uh, Angel Sanctuary. I read that series a long time ago. That is the Japanese symbol for cold or ice, kori, I believe, and it says korikun tenshi, which is angel. <laughs> There's one. It's also dramatic. I was still kind of dramatic in high school. Yep, you can see. <laughs> All of these road series. That is just a cute little drawing I did. I don't know why, but I, I wrote Walmart on the shirt of myself in my drawings all the time. Um, I guess I really liked Walmart. I do have some good memories at Walmart. Um, I went to summer camp programs several times. And... Oh, well, there's Inuyasha stuff. I was actually never really... That big on Inuyasha. I liked Ranma one half better, but my friend probably printed this for me. Hmm. James from Pokemon. I I was on Quizilla a lot too. <laughs> Let's see. Here's one of my drawings. Mistletoe. Oh, I was really big on the Grim Reaper, and um, don't judge too harshly, but it's this is a song by Mercedes Lackey. That's not what I'm saying. Don't judge too harshly. Um, I had a crush on the Grim Reaper from Billy and Mandy because I like his voice. <laughs> when water and air in love collide, a shining mist doth come to reside within the hearts of the lovers tried, keeping the passion alive inside. When water and air in the cold night meet, their strength can conquer an amazing feat, although without an L. Been spelled wrong. <laughs> oh. 
Although they seem subtle and surprisingly meek, their power is capricious and unique. <laughs> I read a lot about mist because I am a Cancer, which is a water sign, and Aquarians are air signs, and, well, <laughs> water and air makes mist. Oh, these are actually really funny. I will share some of my prized poetry with you. Not candy, chocolate, or edible treat, nor beautiful flower with aroma sweet. Merely a card to make it clear that I love you, whether far or near. <sighs> Friends forever, that's what we say. So let me remind you of a special day that'll always be here, through and through. And no matter what happens, I'll always love you. Let's see. We've been friends. We've had a lot of friends. And I did have a sweet one, I think. Oh, I wrote this. Um, I drew that. And I think my friend inspired that. My friend Taylor. She's an artist. Let's see. You are my friend. Mm -hmm. I'm a locked box and you are my key to unlock these chains to set my heart free. <laughs> okay, well, that was cheesy. This is from Maru Curry. Uh, that's my favorite manga. Oh. <laughs> This is me recording the first moment I ever laid eyes on the person I fell in love with. So, I won't. I'll save that for another time, if I ever go into it. Oh, yep. <laughs> the Road. This series is all about that. My feelings for him. Sealed with kiss <laughs> in Japanese. There's some astrology and my stickers, my Princess Jasmine stickers. So I got this because I pronounced it Coco Cat and my nickname is Coco. So, and I was very obsessed with cats until I guess until we got a dog. <laughs> so, these are high school. My friend Taylor and I did. Badly Drawn Land. It was a comic, and it started in her head, so all of her characters are going to be on the back of this paper. Uh, a warning, this manga, because we were so optimistic. <laughs> yeah, so these are the characters. This is my friend Taylor, how we depicted her, and this is how we depicted me. There was the anime hair. <laughs> and again, I wrote Walmart. And what did I write on her shirt? says Nintendo rocks with an X. Yes, she would wear that shirt. <laughs> and Link, because uh, she had a Link action figure, and we would have sleepovers, and we would play as, she would voice him as if he were a real person. And she actually, um, yeah, <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> we also, you know, took my sister's Barbies and made them take over the world. So she had Sephiroth in this series because she has a huge crush on Sephiroth. Understandably, I hear a lot of people do. I never played 7. It's on my list. I've played 10 all the way through because that was my first Final Fantasy game ever. Voice is another character um, of her creation. I just drew an angel. That's not a character. I just drew it. <laughs> and I don't know why it's in here. Mr. Uncle Butt is, uh, he's supposed to be blue, so it's my attempt at drawing him, and just a Metroid, uh, a Goomba attempt, she named him Yamarella, um, and my friend Kaylee, <sighs> yeah, <laughs> I gave her personality, and I added her to the comic, although she and Kaylee did get along. And also Kenshin, Rurouni Kenshin. We just added anyone we wanted. Uh, Sonosuke, 
the Samus. I drew my sister and our little dog. She's a multi poo. I love her. And Morpheus, my character, and Ryoka from Magma because he gets lost and he could end up anywhere. <laughs> I feel so dorky. <laughs> and this is just a mermaid drawing. Just, I guess, yeah, you can see the moon. So, you know, just, it's supposed to be a little romantic thing with a cliff and some more people just holding hands and staring at each other because that's romantic. <laughs> and more characters, but this is from the fan fiction I was part of with my friend Kaylee who wrote it. Okay, so my friend Kaylee and I wrote a fan fiction that she started called Irish Idiots. And, um, basically it starts these two roommates get murdered on Halloween, and that's one of the nights when the veil is thinnest, so they fall into Middle Earth, because Middle Earth does exist, but you have to go through the veil to get there. So they end up in Middle Earth, and Christy is one of our other friends who ended up there, and she's magical, as you can see. This is me, um, and this is Kaylee, and this is Pippin, because Pippin's my favorite. <laughs> well, he's one of my favorites. Um, and I don't know why I drew Orphan? Yeah, nailed it. Um, sorry. I don't know why I drew Orphan in a towel, or why Galadriel looks so different. Uh, Rumiel and Haldir. And we took turns writing chapters, and we would embarrass each other. So that's probably still out there if you want to go read it. <laughs> this is a watercolor pencil thing that I drew. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's. I did this back in a long time ago, but I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's okay. The mistletoe is hanging very obviously, like, low. <laughs> okay. And this is my Cory Tenchi again, my ice angel. Um, I was really big on drawing him for a while, apparently. So, just in space. And I really liked like trying to make clothes look cool with it. So there is that. <laughs> and this is one I did for Taylor. It's just it's supposed to be the hamster dance. Let's see. The hamster dance. <sighs> and Taylor, because she's short, sitting in a box trying to get stuff out to do the hamster dance. And I never finished drawing anyone else. So it's just that. <laughs> And my romantic drawings. I actually am still very proud of this. I like arches. Gazebos are one of my favorite things. They're so romantic. And they're, I did a little spider web up in the corner. I don't really know why. I just felt inspired to do that. The trees look really fake. But I'm happy with my vines. And I'm pretty pleased with the actual kiss. Because I practiced drawing kissing. Because I wanted to be able to draw romantic scenes. This is my favorite though, I like this one the most. It is in the moonlight, on the beach, there's a crab in the water, cancer, just some little weeds, and the ones with dots around them are fireflies, and the others are stars, and the moon is obviously full because I love a full moon. <laughs> so this is probably my favorite, I don't know why I have it tucked away, I should, you know, do something with it, <laughs> or at least protect it with plastic. So, I think that's probably my favorite. It just looks really nice. And more. <laughs> more Link, because I'm a huge fan of Zelda. Sephiroth again, Link again, when we were teenagers. <laughs> um, I just like that outfit design. Um, and a mermaid sitting on a rock. Let's see. This is Linda Goodman. The ageless melody unheard heals. The healing vision unseen leads. The true leaders unknown rescue. The rescuers immortal know. And then a Bible verse. <laughs> so, 
Tales in Search of Illusia is what I was going to call my story. So, that's Morpheus and Katara, and that is supposed to be Hecate, but we'll see. And these are actually drawings that my friend Haley did, and then a poem with another angel, and the Moon Maiden and the Alchemist. And it is kind of cheesy. I remember this, so I'm not going to read it to you. 